Hello everyone, today we will present you social innovation in Norway, Sweden and Finland. There are a lot of innovation here in every sector, but we decided to focus on health and mobility. The health sector is one of the toughest challenges of our society. An OECD report estimates that healthcare costs will double in the next 30 years. We need better solutions to decrease cost, but more importantly, to increase the quality of life of the citizens. In order to do this, multiple hubs have been developed to foster health innovation, like Stockholm Life Science in Okila or Health Innovation Village in Helsinki. What we are trying to do is uh, kind of promote the open innovation uh, idea in, in public sector uh, innovation and, and services development and also the promotion of, of more open innovation culture in, in the development of social and health services in Finland. On the other hand, uh, the level of service and, and the kind of uh, equality of the services uh, is uh, very good in Finland. So I think that's something that we need to hold on to. In those places, you can find companies working on medtech, but also biotech and digital health. Mendor is an all-in-one device for diabetes which monitors your health condition in order for you to be able to check your blood glucose at any time and share it with your doctor. We were also amazed with Diftum and Suma. Diftum is allowing early cancer detection and analysis on treatment effects on the patient. Whereas that Suma is a medical device working on treatment options for major depressive disorder. Through brain stimulation, a good alternative to antidepressant drugs treatment. Mobility is also a big issue in Scandinavia and Finland. Urban mobility accounts for 40% of CO2 emission of urban transport and up to 70% of other pollutants. It's no time to change. There are multiple alternatives to reduce our emissions. We all know what we call car sharing, an efficient way to reduce the number of cars in circulation. What we discover in Helsinki is a public innovation in between public transport, car sharing and Uber. Kutu Plus are public buses that you can order on your phone. The funny thing is that the more you are in the bus, the less it will cost you. Another way is to switch from petrol to other sources of energy, like electric engines for car or boat. We went to Norway to see the first zero emission ferry running on electricity. It's called Ampere and has been produced in collaboration with Siemens Technologies. This battery-driven boat lets us imagine new possibilities for sea transportation. Okay, electrical engines are cool, but the sustainability of it depends on how electricity is produced. Solelia has multiple solutions from an all-in-one charging station for electric vehicle, but they also offer a platform to connect new or existing photovoltaic system to electric vehicle charging stations. Over the next few decades, Helsinki expects to welcome around 250,000 new residents. But the more the population grows, the fewer cars will be on the city streets as Helsinki transforms itself into a network of dense, walkable neighborhoods that are virtually car-free. Thanks for watching! Bye-bye!